Daddy 1973 made in collaboration with director Peter Whitehead explore the relationship between a father and daughter like most of Saint Paul's work the film merges autobiography with fantasy combining scenes of incest with a reversal of power is the female character ridiculous the father figure Saint Paul narrates the film providing an almost psychoanalytical interpretation of its content and explain the otherwise incomprehensible channel via jo celebrity presence top 10 movies like daddy number 10 a reflection of fear 1972 a young disturbed girl lives with her mother and grandmother one day her estranged father returns home with a female companion he introduces as his fiance Soon the girl finds herself in the midst of strange goings on which evolve into a web of murder. Throughout all this her father starts acting less and less fatherly which leads his horrified fiance to believe that he wants to sleep with his own daughter. It's the stuff of nightmares the haunting score lighting and especially Locke's performance contribute to a chilling suspenseful tale that is at times graphically violent and gruesome so delivers another watchable performance as the increasingly concerned father while Kellerman is equally effective as an innocent bystander and unwilling witness to the unfolding madness Number 9 Forever 1991 Marcelo Rondi a very wealthy Brazilian is found lifeless in his apartment the man was struck with a heart attack arrive on the spot her daughter Berenice investigate the life of the father and the causes of death tracking down the various lovers of men he does not spare himself from harassing and annoying them The young woman suffering from a nervous illness settles in the apartment, ending up having dialogues and discussion with her deceased father. Maybe she was having an affair with her parent and in all probability it was she who caused her death. Number 8 Eyes Behind the Wall 1977 Ivano is a wheelchair bound man with some strange powers. He gets his kicks by spying on Arturo, their tenant in the apartment next door and forcing his accomplice Olga to watch as well. To increase his power's thrill, Ivano persuades Olga to seduce Arturo and to have romance him as he watches. Unfortunately for all involved, the love game start to get very deadly. It's often said that Italian cinema is based on repeating itself, and this is never truer than when it comes to the giallo subgenre. But every now and again, you will come across a completely absurd effort that isn't like any other giallo. And Eyes Behind the Wall is one of those films. However, despite its originality, It has to be said that the film really isn't all that good. Despite the themes of voyeurism, Eyes Behind the Wall is a rather tame film. Number 7. Man, Woman and Beast 1977. The film takes place in a humble Italian Catholic village where everyone is acquainted with each other, but no one truly knows about the secret lives that they all live. The entire community is preparing for the annual religious festival. There's the local butcher who covers the town's young teenagers and then goes into the freezer and makes love to hanging beef carcasses. The daughter who has love with her father and becomes pregnant at her grandfather's funeral. The communist drunkard who humiliate his wife. She lives through her dreams and fantasies or she will go crazy. The Christ like stranger who does not have a name. The women fantasize about him. The children all adore him but he does not belong to the village. He always seems to be at the right place at the right time. And there's a bizarre artist who clips out pictures of internal organs from medical journals and pastes them on magazine model with a completely insane wife who never speak. Number 6. You 
Marcelo is a tiresome, powerful and selfish millionaire. He lives in an existentialistic crisis since he is a successful businessman but afraid of age and death. He can have any women he wants, but in his intimacy, he desires the unique impossible woman, Berenice, his daughter. In the present, he has the companion of two women, Lila and Renata, but he is not satisfied. The three will spend Christmas and New Year Eve in an island where he has a mansion. In a party, he meets another woman, Diana, and invites her to go to the island with them. All of these delicious women are paid for satisfying him. While in the island, Berenice visits him with her friend Beatrice. Along the holiday period, he has an incestuous relation with Berenice. In this erotic movie, Walter Hugo Corey has the participation of at least five of the most beautiful and desirable women in Brazil. The story about a powerful, dissatisfied man has great dialogues. Number 5. La Bimba de Satan, 1982. In the crypt of the remote castle of the Aguilar lies the recently deceased body of Maria. Her husband Antonio is a jealous bully. His mute brother Ignacio is in a wheelchair, peeping on his caretaker's soul, a novice. Also present are Miria, the couple's virginal daughter, and Isidro, a factotum who fears Satan's power. A frequent visitor is Juan, a doctor who warns Miria in a sanatorium for a month. She doesn't want to go. Isidro tries to exorcise the castle's evil spirits. Bodies pile up. Is Miria's mother truly dead? And who is Satan's tool? Number 4 La Muchacha de las Bragas de Oro 1980. Louis Forrest, an aging phalangist writer, has retired to sit chairs to devote himself to review his past, write his memoirs, and ruminate over his failed marriage. Due to a sense of guilt for his political past aligned with the Francois regime, he lives in a virtual isolation in a large house accompanied only by his dog and Tesla, the housekeeper. Louis' isolation is suddenly interrupted by the unexpected visit of his niece Mariana. Young and wildly carefree, Mariana arrives with the excuse to interview her uncle about the biographical book he is writing. The reportage would appear in the magazine where Mariana works with her aunt, Soledad, Louis' strange wife. Mariana has not seen her uncle in many years and she enjoys his company. She has arrived with a mysterious silent photographer, a male friend of foreign origin, Elmir. The young couple shake up Louis state world. Mariana and Elmir have a close relationship. They argue frequently, smoke some drugs together, and it is evident that they are lovers. Spying on them, Louis discover Mariana and Elmir having love. Number 3 the witch who came from the sea, 1976. In California, Molly is a deranged woman that babysit her nephew while her sister works hard sewing cloth for her clients. Molly works as waitress in a restaurant in the night shift and is the lover of the owner. She has fantasies with other handsome men. But Molly has also recollection of her childhood when she was abused by her father. Her insanity leads her to a murderous crime spree against men. The witch who came from the sea is a weird, amateurish and senseless B-movie with a poor combination of slasher and exploitation. The screenplay is a complete mess and the situation are absolutely strangers without explanation. The United Kingdom Department of Public Prosecution included the witch who came from the sea in a list of video nasties. In Brazil, this film was recently released on DVD with wonderful artwork, but low quality of image and sound. It is worthwhile watching it only to satisfy the curiosity. Number 2 Lady Darling, 1970 
A young Danish girl seduces everything in sight after daddy refuses her naughty commands. She will have an affair with her teacher, pretend that her boyfriend is dear old dad and finally get to her stepmother. At first, Sarno's details ironic melodramatic style, which so perfectly fit his exposes of only 60s suburbia, may seem to be sappy and anachronistic in the more free-willing late 60s milieu of his Swedish period. The bland pop music and candy color photography replacing the expressive jazz and stark black and white of his earlier period. Nonetheless, he was still a master of gradually building psychological tension to explosive climaxes, as is the case here. Thankfully, he resorted to his patented driving bongo music and artful chiaroscuro lighting during the two key dramatic scene in this one, undercutting the softness of the earlier sequences. Stick with it and you will be impressed. Number 1 Singapore Sling 1990 He is coming from the past and is almost dead. Singapore Sling is the broke, homeless and friendless sort of guy who is always chasing after lost causes bearing women's names, which lead to nowhere. He goes by the name of Laura and he met her years ago, although he has a hunch that the girl he is looking for has been dead for years and that he is in love with a corpse. He continued to search for her. One rainy, stormy night, wounded and with nothing more to lose, Singapore Sling arrived at a house, believing that Laura may be there. But in the darkness of the night and around an open hole in the garden, two women are trying to bury a dead man, and Singapore Sling with a bullet in his shoulder can't do much, with the hope that Laura is still there. He waits till daybreak to enter the house. Yet things don't turn out the way he expected. 